Why is it important? What is the threat? What is the impact on technology? How does it differ from terrestrial weather? What is space weather? The Earth, our home, orbits our life-giving star called the Sun. The Sun is not only extremely hot, with a surface temperature of about 6,000 degrees Celsius, but it also has certain activities happening on its surface, like solar flares, coronal mass ejections, storms, and heat basically emitting millions of particles, radiation, and energy into space. This causes space weather. And even though the Sun is about 150 million kilometers away from Earth, our planet can still be affected by space weather. Just like Earth's weather has seasons, space weather has seasons too. The Sun has a cycle of about 11 years, known as solar minimum with low solar activity and solar maximum with high solar activity. But even during times of low solar activity, solar storms and solar flares may occur. Solar flares are giant explosions on the surface of the Sun that occur when twisted magnetic field lines suddenly snap and release massive amounts of electromagnetic energy. A solar flare takes about 8 minutes to reach Earth and travels at the speed of light. Charged particles from solar storms can reach the Earth in a mere 20 minutes, while coronal mass ejections, which is a large cloud of charged particles, will take 1 to 4 days to reach the Earth. When the magnetic field of a coronal mass ejection interacts with the Earth's magnetic field, it causes a temporary disturbance known as a geomagnetic storm. Space weather is constantly interacting with our Earth's magnetic field, but the impact of a space weather storm will not harm humans and other life forms on Earth as we are protected by the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth is a giant magnet, and the field it generates acts like a shield against solar particles and radiation. However, our astronauts, the aviation sector, and satellites are at risk. If satellites are hit by space weather, radio communications, telecommunications, navigation and weather services may be affected, and many more electronics can suffer hardware errors and failures. This can disturb internet connectivity, have an effect on your cell phone, interrupt satellite TV, and even cause radio blackouts. In severe cases, the power grid may be damaged. Astronauts also have to be aware of space weather and should avoid spacewalks during space weather events in order to avoid the radiation from the sun. Passengers and crew on long-haul flights can also be exposed to radiation during space weather events, which is why the International Civil Aviation Organization recommends that space weather information be included into flight plans. But the effects of space weather interacting with our magnetic field can also be spectacular. The magical lights in the sky called aurora are an effect of space weather storms such as solar wind, solar energetic particles and coronal mass ejections. And while we enjoy the beautiful views from our balconies, looking up into the sky, we can remember that our magnetic field is working non-stop to keep our planet safe. Scientists from around the world are constantly monitoring the Sun and our magnetic field to predict space weather and warn of their effects. The South African National Space Agency is expanding to do this on a 24-7 basis and offers several products and services to mitigate the effects that space weather may have. <laughs>